Hi everyone, it's Donna from Little Space Man Paper Crafts. Um, I've just come on today to take part in the lovely Diane, um, Diane's challenge, and she is um, Die Die Die's Crafty Corner on YouTube. Um, I've just put this in the shot to give you something to look at rather than um, just my craft map. <laughs> I did try and do this on a face to face video, I just didn't like it. Um, so. The challenge is basically it's a get to know each other challenge so Diane has popped this challenge on her YouTube um, so pop over and have a look and um, I'll leave the link for it in the info bar and what she's asked us to do is um, to answer some questions now I've actually searched YouTube for this tag and it's you have to put this specifically into your video for Diane to be able to find you it's hashtag get to know each other tag so that's what you need to put in the title of your video so Diane can find you. And I found quite a lot and I've looked and um, some of the new channels that I found have um, been lovely. Really, really lovely. I have just, I've subscribed to quite a few. Um, I'm still working my way through them. And um, yeah, it's been really nice sort of getting to know other crafters and finding out that we're all quite similar really in some ways so um right i will start with mine so the first question is first name well my first name is donna um if my mum had her way before i was born it would have been ursula um <laughs> so i don't know i think i'm more of a donna than an ursula nickname my nickname now when my sister was little she couldn't say donna and um, it came out Dobby so I am Dobby <laughs> all my nieces and nephews my sisters um, their husbands and partners they all tend to call me Dobby and now I was Dobby way before JK Rowling stole that idea for her books um, but yeah that's my nickname it's Dobby um, my birthday my birthday is July the 12th and um, it's quite nice really because my husband's birthday is July the 6th so this year although we've been together 12 years this year is the first year we're actually having a joint celebration so we're having a huge family meal um, and um, yeah it's, it's going to be big <laughs> um, what best describes where you live um, well I live in a city that's quite um, it's quite built up um, so I live um, the other side of the centre of the town and it's not too bad, it's it's quieter here. Um, I still am by a main road but yeah it's quieter um, and yeah I do enjoy living here. So let's see, what's your crafty style? I don't, I don't think I have one, I love doing all this sort of stuff like vintagey stuff um, I like doing a lot of distress into projects and things and um, yeah uh, I do love that sort of um, vintage sort of style your most used crafty tool okay my most used crafty tool would have to be my Fiskars paper trimmer oh my gosh I use that all the time all the time I don't trim anything out using scissors unless I absolutely have to um, yeah and I just love it I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to my Fiskars <laughs> trimmer I'd have to get a new one straight away um, most wished for crafty tool um, I have two um, the more realistic one that I'm going to be getting <laughs> of the two will be the Misty I'm dying to get a Misty um, because I've seen them you know for a while now and I really really want one but they're just so expensive here in the UK so um for what they are so I'm going to save up and I am going to get one um the second thing that I want after watching lots of different tutorials um I thought about a cricket a cricket but then I don't know I'm really leaning towards the brother scan and cut now because I like the idea of being able to scan a stamped image in and have it cut it out for you which is great um, because I tend to buy if I'm buying um, stamps I tend to buy coordinating dies which obviously increases the cost 
because I, I hate fussy cutting I always seem to get it wrong and it's never even you know on one side it's not and oh it's just a nightmare so yeah so they're my two my two um wished for crafty tools okay my favorite crafty brand has to be hands down without a doubt lawn fawn I love lawn fawn the images are amazing they're so easy to color and the fact that they come with coordinating dies <laughs> is a bonus um and it's great that you can just mix and match different um stamp sets to create scenes it's just i, I really really love um lawn fawn favorite craft at the moment um favorite craft at the moment i don't know i am um, I recently took part in a challenge I've just um, I've either just uploaded that video or I'm going to be uploading the VR for that video um, creating an altered matchbox I actually have it here because I've just filmed the video um, I've never made one before and I really really like it so and I like the whole um, vintage sort of showy chic type thing so yeah I think these sort of things constructing um different projects to decorate at the moment i think that's what i am um, like and obviously my card making i love making cards um do you have pets yes um we recently had a guinea pig called Ginny, who um who recently we lost um we had her for eight years but she just got really poorly and if in fact if you listen to some of my earlier videos you'll probably hear her squeaking um so that was really sad but we have three cats um they're all black cats and they are called gypsy kitty which is very original obviously <laughs> and um chili bean so um we have the cat then we have a tortoise called cj and we have recently just gotten a long-haired chihuahua puppy um it was my sister's and my son just fell in love with her so we have um her in our house <laughs> so um yeah she is quite fun i forgot what it's like to have a puppy in the house so you have to move her. it's like having a child in fact it's worse than having a child <laughs> so um yeah so that's and my son's called her sophie so there we go favorite time to craft i love crafting in the daytime um i get most of my ideas at night time so i tend to write those down and then craft in the daytime um favorite non-crafter youtube channel <coughs> <coughs> excuse me uh to be completely honest with you i don't have any um all of my <coughs> excuse me all of the channels that are on my um on my list that i watch on youtube are all amazing crafty channels um yeah i'm i'm not you know if i'm looking for something in particular or looking for a you know like a song or something that's i'll use youtube for that but i genuinely just tend to use it for um to watch crafting videos okay let's see favorite tv show um i like kind of newer science fiction type supernaturally type shows if that makes sense um for me um i've just recently discovered a tv series called the fringe now apparently it's had five seasons i've only just found it on netflix um and i'm really into watching that at the moment so i really really like that uh favorite movie i have a couple actually the first one that pops into my head is the very first movie i saw at the cinema i was about three and it was um disney's version of snow white and the seven dwarfs um and i always get very nostalgic when i think about that movie and um alice alice in wonderland the disney version is good but i really really like the newer versions um I love the colours and the the visual sort of impact of it and it's just a lot more fun and you know I kind of feel like that's how I saw it in my head when I was a child as well you know 
it, it's just really fun and bright and colourful so yeah I do love Alice in Wonderland it's just one of my favourite things I do a lot of Alice in Wonderland crafts um, <laughs> so favourite colour colour wise um, I like um, monotone colours I like black, grey um, white when I'm crafting though I do like um, pastel type colours as well I think pastel colours are really pretty um, I don't have an actual favourite colour I don't think although I do sometimes lean towards purple so maybe purple see this is forcing me to think about myself now this is like a therapy session this is <laughs> okay favourite store to be honest I don't really go out shopping too much um, due to some health issues that I have um, so I do most of my things I do online um, and I have to mention the online stores that I am a design team member for um, which is G's Embellishment Emporium.com the lovely Gareth and um, Michelle at littleacrescreations.com if you actually scroll through my videos you'll see some design team videos for those stores so I love those guys and I love those stores um, there is a store that I found at the moment called um, is it Craft Stash? and I love that store it, it, online it's just brilliant the, the bargains are fantastic so um, I do love a good bargain um let's see favorite restaurant again I don't really go out much um to eat when I do in fact I've got um a dinner date with my sister on Tuesday and we're going to I believe I'm not sure if we're going to Cosmos or we're going to the Harvester so I like both but I don't particularly have a favorite uh, favourite magazine? Oh, again, I'm so boring. I don't really have a favourite. I like crafty magazines. Um, so if I'm, um, if I am out shopping anywhere and I see one, or if my husband's out and he sees one that I haven't got, he'll pick it up for me. Um, favourite author? Hmm. I think the two that pop into my head really are um, Tolkien. Now I loved The Hobbit. It was probably one of the um, the first sort of intense books that I read. Um, yeah, I do love I, I love Tolkien, and also thinking about it now, I love Roald Dahl. Um, as I was a child, I, I you know I loved when I was younger. I loved Roald Dahl and the stories and the way he tells the stories, and it's sort of like you know he draws you into the stories I, I love it and my son is a, also a huge fan he has them um, a Roald Dahl collection in his bedroom that he reads um quite a lot so yeah Roald Dahl so what's there's only three more questions left so favorite shoes I don't have a particular brand of shoes when I was um a teenager I loved Doc Martens um I lived in my Doc Martin boots um but you know you have to grow up sometime <laughs> so now I love um, can they're like canvas baseball boots I really really like them they're comfortable um, yeah so they're my sort of favorite so favorite time of year um, my favorite time of year has got to be winter I think um, I mean you know we have Christmas and who doesn't love Christmas right <laughs> so we have Christmas um, and I don't like it when it's really really hot um, I don't handle the heat very well I like when it's cold you can put more layers on and wrap up when it's hot no matter how many layers you take off and it, it's still just going to be hot and humid so um, I do prefer the cold maybe I'm a little bit weird most people would love the heat but I know I love the cold um now the last question is something most people don't know about you hmm um I am a big crier I cry <laughs> I cry all the time and I don't know what makes me do it um I know 
I don't know why I get so emotional is what I'm trying to say I um, if I watch the news or read an article or something you know that upsets me I tend to I don't know what it is I tend to be able to empathize with you know the person or, or whatever story it is on the news and it makes me really really sad and I cry when I'm sad I cry when I'm happy I cry when I'm angry yeah I cry all the time which is really really weird I've never even thought about it really much till now so yeah I'm a huge cryer my husband tries to um, ban me from watching the news too um, which sometimes is a good thing um, so yeah that's that's pretty much it really I think I'm pretty much an open book I think the rest of my family don't really know that I'm a big crier because um, if they did they'd just take the mickey at me all the time <laughs> and that would make me cry even more so <laughs> So yes, that's all my questions answered for Diane from um, Diary Dies Crafty Corner. So I would definitely recommend taking this challenge. It doesn't have to be face to face, you know, um, it can just be like this. Just have a project in front of you. It's been a fab challenge to take part of. So thank you so much, Diane, for organising this. And please remember to, if you do take part, to t correctly title your video. Um, I will leave the link again, as I say, to Diane's video where you can get all the information and the correct link um, title to put on your video so that diane can find you so thanks so much guys for listening to my dulcet tones for what seemed like forever um and i will catch you all later take care lots of love bye